<laughs> Stop teasing me, Rob. <laughs> huh? You like what you see, Gary? <laughs> now we're talking. Yeah. Now we're talking chopping. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. 50 years. 50 years. Here it is. This here. is what it's about. You yeah, fooled yeah. me. Yeah, you yeah, fooled yeah, me. Yeah, I told you. I wasn't just taking you here just to see this. But you like what you see? Obviously, I'm a harvester fanatic, as you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I know some of the things that's going on here because mm -hmm. I have read. But the biggest thing about this is the new engine. That's right. Yeah. So again, new engine. Talk to me. So this is an, our, our new 96. So we've got two new models with, with that new engine that you talk about. The 9500. Yes. 9600. Yes. So 700 horsepower rated and 750 horsepower rated. Yeah. But these new engines, <gasps> not only are that, we're also utilizing our Harvest Motion Plus technology. And you're keeping the 800s. I like that. Harvest Motion Plus. So with that, we say the rated horsepower is 700 and a 9500. 750 horsepower on a 9600, but as you load the machine down, we're effectively increasing the horsepower and increasing the torque. So these machines have a boost effect. You say Harvest Motion Plus. Correct. Your nine series currently all run Harvest Motion. That's right. Which is pulling from the lower engine RPM and using the torque. That's the. the yeah, so matching our cutter head speed accurately with our engine to get the most fuel efficient way of chopping crop. So this now has plus. Plus, yeah. So the plus Which is a harvest. Is correct. Yeah. <laughs> so we're, as we load the machines, we're giving them more power. Okay. What's so special about it? Because after all, you were using uh, a 19 litre engine. So what makes this 18 litre engine special? So again, completely new. It's John Deere engine. So we make it ourselves. So very important to, to our customers, as you know. One big thing is we've changed a little bit what we do with after treatment. I've heard this, but I didn't believe it. There's a rumor that there's no wild blue in this engine. Let's wait and see when we get around the other side, okay? okay? Um, other bits and pieces, you know, we've made a few changes to the spout, the curvature of the spout. So you've changed the geometry of the, the shoot. Why, what's the reason for that? You know, some of it is, is really to help with those really high sugar content grass conditions. Like we have. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So where that material can, can gum up, you know, it's better getting that material through the machine. Likewise as well, I know this is fitted with our, our extension, but for what you're used to, the standard eight row configuration, it's 20 centimeters longer. Or even, to be honest, grass pickups, because trailers are getting bigger, and if you can keep them a wee bit further away, but keep the going straight down in, means when you're swinging around corners. Yeah, yeah, no, there'll that be. Every little bit helps. Yeah. yeah, let's have a closer look at that engine that you want to see. So here she is in all her glory. So here it is in all its glory, compressor, everything like that fitted on it. Okay, Gareth as well, we've got our 50 year uh, anniversary decal. You know, all the 50 year, yeah. all yeah. the machines that we're selling for 22 will have that, that, that decal. And the nice thing is, if anyone wants to celebrate their 50 years with us, you know, we've, our engineers have even included a bottle opener in the, uh, in the hinge design. A bottle opener. A bottle opener, anyway. You really have thought of it all. It's huh? for, it's for huh? the big celebration, can guys. We, can, we get, <laughs> can we get back to the fact that I see no ad blue? Lo lots of space. Yeah, absolutely. No, you're right. So with this new engine, there's no ad blue. None whatsoever. That has to be a big thing for um, the UK and Irish market. For everyone, you know, worldwide. Just, you know, the extra complexity, keeping the fuel consumption down. You know, it's, it's not only the fact that it's something else you have to add to the machine in terms of diesel and add blue, but also it's complexity. There's more components. So again, from everyone's point of view, it's just simpler. Likewise, when we move and talk about technology, you know, we're still utilizing our Harvest Lab 3000 sensor um, that we've been had on the market for the and last that, few years. The Harvest Lab sensor, what you guys have done, and I've been reading a little bit about this, over the last few years is phenomenal. Like it's, it's full data for what anybody in nutrition would want. I mean, with proteins, um, dry matters, volumes, everything can be collected through that sensor. Yeah, I mean, look, this machine can collect a phenomenal amount of data in the field. But let's have a quick look up around the front end. Like 50 years. A lot has changed, a lot has changed, you know. What that machine would do in a day versus what this machine would do in a day. Yeah, so machines come straight from the field, Gareth. Um, I can see that. Look, as you can see. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. Um, ah, our new kernel <laughs> processor. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's ready for cutting. Let's you go. You know what that means? Come on. Get me in the harvester. Let's go.